I've been seeing this a lot. I mean, a lot of people are not talking. They're just quiet, not talking. They're not saying anything. That's a lot of intuition, Sagittarius. Someone's being intuitive. Someone knows what's happening. They're just being intuitive. They're just being silent. That's quiet. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Let's have a look. So you did start something. Someone did give you an offer of commitment. Someone did start off something stable and secure. You did. You did want to collaborate. That's on your mind. You want collaboration is on your mind. But I think there's a lot of mind fuckery going on. There's a lot of games, mind games going on. And maybe someone's trying to be extremely patient. This is someone who's trying to be very, very patient with this. And all this is happening because someone's holding back. Either someone's holding on to something or someone's holding back. We'll see. But in the near future, I see that you're clinging on to the past. So whatever ha whatever happens here is just going to leave a bad taste in the mouth. Okay. Anyways, let's start clarifying. Why is the overall edge? Why is the overall energy for Sagittarius the High Priestess? Yeah, someone's being very, very quiet. Is this karma playing out? We have the High Priestess with the Justice. You could be dealing with a fixed sign Libra. Those are two major arcanas. These are life lessons. Someone's being very, very quiet and intuitive. This is someone, the High Priestess, she's super badass. She knows what's happening, but she'll just keep quiet. Someone's giving someone the silent treatment. Could have to do with a divorce or could have to do with something which was done unfair to them. This is someone, they're trying to rectify a situation. Probably that's why someone needs the silent treatment. Clarify the, the, clarify the justice. Where's the justice here? Got two cards. See? No one's talking because there's someone who's just withdrawing. They're just holding back from communication. Could be someone who's absolutely, someone's manipulating the situation. I feel the high priestess also, to a certain extent, she trusts her intuition. She could also be manipulated, you know. Or this is someone who's just giving the silent treatment because they want to rectify the situation. They want to teach someone a lesson. That's why they're holding back communication. They're holding back communication for someone who's, an, who's a manipulator, someone who's just not giving them the truth because there's just no clarity. This is someone, the King of Swords in reverse is someone who's been, and that is why probably they're being very cold, icy, detached. This is someone who's just detached, completely detached themselves. They're very cold. They don't have anything to do with the truth. They just don't want to talk or they're just, I don't know. Silent treatment, just not giving clarity. This could be someone who's lying, who's just not giving the truth. This is just someone who's cutting someone off. All right, let's see. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? You could have got an offer, a committed offer, someone who came in, right? But this person could have been, this is the moon. Someone could have been very, very deceptive. This is someone very deceptive. This is someone, whoever gave you an offer or whoever came towards you. This is someone very deceptive. We have the moon, fixed sign Pisces. You have a Pisces here. You have a Pisces in the overall energy. Someone's deceptive. Someone who's, whose true intentions are hidden. It's like a moon. Yeah. Could be a boss person because we have the five of swords in reverse. So whoever this person came to you, right? I think this is someone, not someone new. This is someone could have been, this is a younger earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever this person is, right? They came to you in the past with an offer. Could be that they were hiding their emotions or this could be something which is hidden. This, this connection could have been very, very hidden. Whoever this person was, right? They could have been in the past. They could have been very deceptive in the past. Like they had a lot of secrets and they weren't really revealing everything all the table. All the cards were not on the table. Whoever this person is, right? They were trying to, and, and whoever this person is, you did resolve a conflict with them. You did have a reconciliation with whoever this person was, right? I don't get cheater, but I think a lot of deception, a lot of secrets about them which you didn't know. How about the five of swords? Why is the five of swords the current situation for Sagittarius? Yeah, this mind fucking is making emotionally draining you. Someone's playing a lot of mind games. So you know what? Honestly, Sagittarius, I know I'm the tarot reader, but according to what my intuitive feeling is, this person was fucking around with you earlier too. There was a lot of hidden things. This person likes to play dirty games, okay? This person likes to fuck around with your mind. 
they know you want to work with them because you're collab you're, you're, all, what's on your mind is the three of pentacles you want to collaborate with them you want to build with them you want to work with the foundation with them you want something committed but this is someone who is just not ready to change. I think they're fucking around again and that's emotionally draining you. Like the nine of cups in reverse. That's the nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, see, and that's why things are at a halt now. We have the knight of pentacles in reverse. So, again, things are at a halt. Look at the knight of pentacles in reverse. What's the knight of pentacles in reverse? See, because you're not taking a risk. Just like I just said that. We have the Five of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups in Reverse, we have the Knight of Pentacles in Reverse and the Fool in Reverse. So Sagittarius, I'll tell you, uh, uh, according to me, what I think is this person starting to fuck around again. You feel you have to stand up for yourself every single time this, this person fucks around. Or there could be a lot of mind games, like I said. Right? You always have to fight for your ground or you have to fight. I think this person is someone where you don't feel where you fit in probably this person is just not telling you where you fit into their life every single time you need to fight for that spot of yours you need to know where you stand in their life which is emotionally draining you out and that's why things are at a halt everything stopped completely this person stopped moving to, you've stopped moving towards this person you know why because we have the fool in reverse you could be dealing with a fixed sign aries i feel because now you don't want to take a risk with this person this person's fucked around enough you don't want to give it a check, second chance i just want to drop in something the nine of pentacles in reverse to me is someone who is very emotionally dependent sagittarius if you are the one who's emotionally dependent on someone cut that out cut that shit out this person is going to keep doing this to you till they know that you need them. The moment you tell them you don't need them and you're good on your own, I am enough. The moment you become emotionally independent, look how they rush in. Forget them, anyone. You'll attract everything that you want. Just just keep saying, I am enough. I don't need him. You don't need this guy. You don't need this girl to make you happy. You're happy by yourself. It's life for the temperance. So, you know what? It's clarified about the temperance. You're constantly cooperating. You're compromising with this person. You're showing a lot of patience with this person, you know. You're trying to, trying to balance out this situation. You're trying to stand your ground and you're trying to be very, very patient. Clarify the temperance here. Yeah, but you're losing faith in the connection. We have the start in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have Aquarius in your birth chart. You're losing faith in this connection. You're, you, you, it's, it's draining you out completely. You're showing a lot of patience, but it's draining the fuck out of you. You, you. you feel this is a hopeless situation. You're losing faith completely. You feel this isn't happening. Try for the start in reverse. Why is the start in reverse? Because it's not bringing you any happiness. Maybe you're even thinking of leaving. This could have been a marriage. This could have been a very committed relationship. Or maybe this is just not a happy situation, happy family situation. You're showing a lot of patience with this guy. This guy could also, this guy or girl, whoever you're dealing with could be a cheater too. I don't see a lot of cheating. But this is just someone who wants to, you know, like every single time they just drag you into the mud, you know. And it's just draining you out. You don't want to risk anything with this person. That's when the future we have, the Six of Cups in reverse, this relationship is leaving a very bad taste in your mouth. You're showing a lot of patience, but you're lacking faith. You're losing faith. You're losing faith because this is not bringing you any emotional fulfillment. This is an unhappy family situation. All right. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles on Sagittarius' mind? Yeah, see, because there is an emperor here. You could be dealing with an Aries. This is someone. This is, honestly, I definitely think this is a marriage. I definitely feel this is a marriage situation. This is an emperor. You want to work with this guy, whoever this emperor is, right? This is a strong Aries. This is someone who's very stubborn about their ways. This is someone who's like the my way or the highway. I don't care. I'm not I'm not changing for you. This is someone who doesn't want to change their ways, but you're still ready to collaborate with them. Try for the emperor. Yeah, but this is someone very inconsistent. We have the King of Wands in reverse. One second this person has pa has passion for you, the second, the second uh, time they don't. This is someone very inconsistent. This could be someone very, very controlling. But I think you, you're just not liking the way. This could be some. Okay, you know what? I think could be, all right? I just said that this person could be deceptive, right? So you want to collaborate with someone. You want to build with someone. This is teamwork, okay? It could be a work situation. But you want to collaborate with this emperor. This emperor is someone, like I said, right? This is a married guy. This is very... Um, 
uh, someone who wants my way or the highway. But I think this could be two people also. I think this is someone who is very inconsistent. This is a player. This is this is because the king of wands and reverse is also a married man, but he's a cheater. This is someone who's cheating. That's the king of wands and reverse. Someone's definitely cheating, and you're sick and tired of their games. And that's why I say you've been showing a lot of patience, but you're losing faith in this connection. You're losing faith in this marriage situation, this family situation. See, there's a lot of past regret you have with this person. We have the five of cups. You're feeling sad. You're feeling lost. You don't know what to do. Try for the four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles here? Yeah. You're holding back. You're holding back from this person. You have the six of cups in reverse twice. You're holding back. I don't think you're communicating with this person or you're just holding back. You're shut down completely. You're guarding yourself from this person. Because this, this relationship has left a bad taste in your mouth. This is having very, very bad memories about the past. And see the four of cups in reverse. You're moving forward. You're getting out of this isolation. You're moving forward. This could be a missed opportunity because you're not speaking to this person. So this is a missed opportunity. You're not ready to reconcile. This is an absolute unhappy family situation. You're not ready to reconcile. You're moving forward. You're like, you know what? Let it go. You could have been isolated for a very long time, like staying alone, but now you're coming out of it. All right, clarify the Six of Cups in Reverse. Where are the Sagittarius Six Figures? The Six of Cups in Reverse in the future. See, because you've got clarity. Whatever has left you a bad taste in the mound, it's Ace of Swords. This is some harsh truth that has come to you. Because you know what? Sometimes I feel this is a breakthrough. Okay, this is like the harsh truth that has come to your mouth, that's come to the surface. Something's come. You know, this, this is clarity. This is cutthroat clarity. Clarify for the Ace of Swords. What is this clarity? Clarify for the Ace of Swords. Clarify for the Ace of Swords, please. Yeah, and you're shut off. You have the King of Cups in reverse. You could be really in love with this person, but this, you're just shut off now. You're not offering your emotions to this person anymore. You're completely shut down. This could also be someone, maybe this is that person who was emotionally extremely manipulative and now you have clarity about this person. Clear for the King of Cups in reverse. Clear for the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, see? And now you're cutting this person off. You're so vengeful. You're so bitter. The King of Cups in reverse is someone very, very emotionally manipulative. This is someone who probably just wasn't offering you their emotions this is someone emotionally unavailable and you what you have the ace of swords you have the reality check and now you cut this person off now you're so bitter it could also be that you shut yourself off towards this person you cut them off and now they're really angry with you this is someone who's pissed off look at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of wands and reverse okay there's no forward moment in this relationship and we have the two of cups in reverse, okay? There is a disconnection between two people. This is a couple who is not seeing eye to eye. That's a separation. That's a breakup. There could be. There are strong chances this is a third party situation. <clears throat> but yeah, this guy is just, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, this is just someone very inconsistent. Definitely someone who you're married to. This could even be you, Sagittarius. I mean, I'm just going to read it from the Sagittarius point of view. It could be anyone. Alright Sagittarius, I hope you enjoy this reading. Please like, share, follow, subscribe, comment below and I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.